Well, here we are at Willard Bay South Marina, and it's uh, Friday the 15th of September. Hope Friday the 15th is luckier than Friday the 13th. Uh, looks like it's going to be a fairly calm day, and uh, hopefully we can score a few fish of more than one species. See how it goes. Okay, this is a uh, newbie tuber, Jill, along with her new tricked out outcast prowler. She and her husband Jeff have done a really good job of putting a lot of PVC and other goodies on there. Uh, tried to get out last week but the wind blew us off so hopefully we do a little bit better this week. And there she goes folks. Launching on the big pond. Well pulling away from the ramp and by my sonar it's uh 719 temperature inside is 67.43 probably a couple of degrees warmer on the outside but at least it's getting down right here inside the harbor you can see both uh, some shad and some bigger fish that are in here uh, chasing them evidently so hopefully there's a lot of fish out where we're going and uh, we can get a few Well, got something coming in right away here. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's a huge perch. Hope we can get a few bigger ones. Well, it looks like I've uh, got into my first catfish of the day here. That's what it feels like anyway. And that's exactly what it is, a nice little cookie cutter kitty. We'll bring him on up. Take a look at what he got. Got him on a little fire tiger with a piece of worm on it. Nice little kitty. I'll probably throw him back because he's not quite big enough. Well, got something else coming in. Feels like it might be a chunky kitty. And it is a nice little kitty. Not a big one, but might invite him home to dinner. And let's see what we got him on. Got that one on a little short use four leaf leg with a red spot and a piece of worm. Eh, just about right for dinner size. Take him home and release in the grease. Okay folks, that's probably about, about the largest wiper I've ever caught out of here. And uh, really put up a fight, just about broke my rod. Well, I finally got something with a little bit of shoulders to it. Might just be a big old kitty fish, but if it is, we'll take it. As I said before, I got no pride. Come on up. Join the party. Wow. We got us a bent stick here. A little lighter rod than I was using on four almost acts like it might even be a wiper ah eh, we're getting close now let's see if we can get a good look at it not just a big old kitty fish and we will gladly accept him got him netted up on the board and drop him back down in. 
Okay, now, looks like we got this one on the new model Whirlyf leg, what I call my drop back model. And that's a Whirlyf leg with about a th two to three inch piece of wire before the hook. So anyway, this one kind of liked it. I'll probably invite him home too. Well, just got that last big one put up and went bendo on this rod. This is another one of my dropper legs. Last one was on a pink tiger. This is an orange tiger. And around he goes. Take a line off the drag. Come on up. Join the crowd. My goodness, he got catitude. That's all right. Been catching nothing but smaller fish all morning and now I'm back to back got two good sized cats some problems are better to have than others okay get off the net bring Mr. Whiskers up here to join the crowd Bring it aboard. This is on the orange dropper flig, and he liked it just fine. Probably invite him home to release in the grease along with a couple of the others. Okay, this is a new dropper flig I've been playing around with. It's a shorter body, wider body. Got the spinner blade on the front and uh, it's got about a two inch length of uh, light steel wire leader size two silver hook and then a small minnow and uh, this is a kind of a takeoff on the old Halley jig with the hook and the bait being a short distance away from the body of the lure and there's a lot of fish that uh, kind of like that presentation Well, got another one hooked up here, only in 13 feet of water, fighting like another cat. Acting like he just don't want to join me in the float tube, and I can't say as I blame him. I wouldn't want to be with me in the float tube either. Bending my stick and stretching my string. That's what it's all about. A fine day it is. Come on. Had about enough of this stuff. Come on up here and join the rest of the crowd in the basket. Enough of catch and release stuff, we'll catch and consume. Catfish are mighty good. Okay, I think we're getting up here into the landing vicinity. Not a huge one, but a good one. Got him in the basket or in the net. Got this one on the Orange Tiger dropper flig and get that hook out. 
and if we're keeping them generally I like to break off all the fins dorsal fin both pectoral fins <clears throat> kind of tough sometimes best to have a big old pair of side cutters okay and once we got those fins off then bring them around and drop them down in the basket and take him home to join the rest of them. That's what a lot of shad look like on the sonar. Well, I got hooked up again. There's Jill out there in the background. She just landed another fish. She's been doing pretty good today. So, been a fairly active day so far. We're getting bent rods and stretch string. That's what it's all about. This one has a definite catitude. Poor little rod got a bend and I guess probably better take it back. Sonar, I'm seeing a lot of fish on sonar right now, too. Now, let's get back to the action at hand here. See if we can get this dude to come crawl in the net. Sometimes you got to stick with them until they get an insane desire to crawl on the net. Got this one on a little bit different dropper flag. This is a white with uh, silver glitter on it, which looks an awful lot like a baby shad, which is a lot of what they're feeding on right now. Okay, now we're getting them up into the zone. Get the invitation card out. And come on in. You notice I made a couple of minor alterations to my front deck layout here. Oh, come on in. And this one's on the dropper flag with the white glitter white with glitter and uh, see that little whirly blade really spins around well another end for the table there's Joe afloat managed to get a few fish today we'll take a look at her basket when we get back in well, it's about 11 o'clock, just getting ready to wrap it up. And uh, some stupid fish decided he wanted to play. So I'll take the time to mess with him, bring him in and let net him. Since he volunteered. Yeah. Another one on the the pink. That's another nice little eater size one. Okay, come on aboard. This one actually I got uh, putting two minnows on one hook, two little small minnows. That's a pink tiger whirly flig. 
and the fish that ate it. Okay, she's made it ashore, folks. So far. <laughs> well, folks, Jill had a pretty good day on the water. She brought in three and uh, released several others, some voluntarily and some not. But uh, definitely got her tube broken in, right? Well, I made it back in and uh, got a few cats down there. Let's see, I got two, four, kept six, probably threw back another four or five. And uh, had a couple of long line releases and a few pop and drops. Uh, in addition to what you see here, I got one small perch and one small wiper, the smallest one I've ever caught. So all in all, it wasn't a bad day. And it's a pretty calm day, so beats the heck out of the last time we were out. <laughs>